<laughs> Hello to everybody from beautiful Austria and welcome. Today I have the pleasure of contributing to the 100 Active Days mission of A, moving 1 million people and B, making the world a better and brighter place 100 Active Days at a time. To do this, I would like to introduce Jeremy from 100 Active Days. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what is 100 Active Days? 100 Active Days is a really simple concept, but we feel it has huge implications for community health and individual wellbeing. It's a concept which is based on a whole heap of research on the formation of healthy habits and also the role of supportive communities to support those habits. But I won't bore you with that. Essentially, it's one thing. It's a challenge to be active every single day for 100 days in a row. Fantastic. So how many people do you estimate have taken up the challenge of 100 Active Days? We think it's in the thousands at the moment. There are schools right across Switzerland. There are workplaces in Canada, people all over Australia, in the United Kingdom, in the Middle East, and many, many other places across the globe. So it seems like a great uptake. Are you happy with the results? We're really happy with the way people have taken on the challenge, but deep in our hearts, we set out to move one million people and we know we've got a lot of work to do. So it does seem like a bit of a tough challenge. Can you tell me what constitutes an active day? This is something we've worked on. An active day is whatever you define to be an active day for you. If your starting point is not very active, then maybe that's walking the dog around the block every day. If you're more active, then maybe it's making sure you do something that makes you sweat every day. If you just want to try something new, maybe it's trying 100 days of yoga. If you're a professional athlete, then maybe it's just joining the community and sharing and inspiring others. But what happens if I miss an active day? <laughs> no. There's three levels of challenge in 100 active days. The gold standard is to get 100 active days in 100 consecutive days. Mm -hmm. That's really tough because we do all have bad days. Mm -hmm. If you do miss a day, we have the silver challenge, which is how many days does it take you to reach 100 active days? So maybe it would take you 110 days to reach 100 active days. The bronze challenge is slightly shorter, and that is in 100 days, how many of those days were active? So in my next 100 days, maybe 67 days of those were active. And my goal should be to beat that in the next 100 days. Well, that sounds good and achievable. My question to you again is, have you managed to achieve 100 active days? I love it. I've done the gold challenge every single year that, since we dreamt up the challenge in 2014. And there's a point that I love the most, which happens right in the middle somewhere where you forget what day you're up to. <laughs> and you get a little bit stressed about that at the time and then you reflect and you realise it's not about the challenge anymore. I've created a habit. Being active every day is a part of my lifestyle. And that's exactly what we want. So how do we get involved? To get involved, you can start right now. There are absolutely no barriers to entry. If you'd like to, the support of the community, of the 100 Active Days family, sign up on www.100activedays.com or follow us on Twitter. Jeremy, thank you for coming in and spending the time talking to me about 100 Active Days. All I have to say now is hashtag 100 Active Days. <laughs> thank you very much. Be active. We really set out with the mission of moving 100, uh, 1 million people. <laughs> moving a million people. And uh, that's what we're going to do.